I'm Richard Leaf and I've been privileged to be the Chief Executive of the Lake District National Park in the UK. And I've spent 30 years wow. working in the field of environment and conservation. It's a total privilege for me at the end of my career in nature conservation to come to a magnificent national park like Giant Panda. Wow, as a geographer, when I used to study these things, and I can see in the river here that it's designed almost for having a large volume of water in it. And I can tell that in the rainy season here, when you have storm activity, you'll have a huge quantity of water coming down this valley. It's a very active place, a very dramatic place, if you're here at the right time. It's a bear! How scary is that? Ooh. And I'd be terrified if I heard that sound that's in my ears at the moment if I were outside in the National Park and one was coming for me. So what a magnificent thing to experience in the safety and comfort of this marvellous visitor centre. Whenever I've been in China, I am struck and humbled by the ecological quality of your natural environment. And I stepped down from that job after 17 years just last month, but I'm here in China as part of a delegation. So we're here in Bosan Village to have our seminars on exchanging best practice between national parks in the UK, the Lake District and Giant Panda. We're focused on nature, climate and regulation and laws around protecting national parks. Good morning everybody. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm Richard from the Lake District and I think I have a presentation for you on our carbon budget. In the Lake District, we have taken an approach to tackling climate change for the last 14 years. I've been talking about this morning the approach that we've been taken to reducing carbon in the national parks through a, a ground-breaking carbon budget approach and I would love to be able to share that and do something similar in the Giant Panda National Park. And I've been really impressed with the way that the leaders of the Giant Panda National Park have talked about the difficult transition away from industries of the past, like logging, mining, and big scale hydropower, moving into industries of the future, like tourism. So I see a big shift happening here as one economy is replaced with another that's got nature protection So I've worked in the natural environment for 30 years now. And for me, it all started when I was at school and I went on a geography field trip to the Lake District actually. And I was just blown away by how beautiful the landscape was. And so I decided to pursue my love of geography at university. My first job in nature conservation was as a coastal geographer, looking at beaches all around the UK. And that was in the early 1990s when I really started my career. Um, I evolved from that into European policy, talking to other European countries in the 2000s. Uh, I would visit other European uh, countries to talk to them about how they were conserving their nature. Uh, in about 2007 that I got my job that I've just finished for the Lake District National Park and, and that was a, a very a proud day for me, uh, for my career and, and a real step forward to become a, a, a Chief Executive and try and lead the Lake District National Park into the future. 
It's a job that really enables me to get my head off the pillow. So beyond my work, I'm also really passionate about getting out into wild places, particularly mountains. I'm looking forward to visiting the Giant Panda Research Base at the end of this visit. Pandas, so cute, amazing. We're here at the Giant Panda Research and Conservation Base in the center of Chengdu. I'm very interested to come here and, and hear about the essential research that they do here, which enables the conservation of the wild pandas out in the Giant Panda National Park. I mean, the amazing thing is, compared to our parks, this is an absolutely massive area of land, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And, um, and what we're talking about is how you maintain these areas as core areas of the park where the, where the principal aim is just to look after the, the pandas mm -hmm. and how you allow access by the public mm -hmm. into some of the more peripheral areas of the yeah, park. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that typically because it's, pandas are such a sensitive species, then visitor management needs to be targeted. We're at a new attraction here, the Panda Tower. It's designed to look like a bamboo shoot, the food of the panda. We're gonna go up and have a look at the view. The main thing I think when I'm stood here is just the scale of the panda base. It's enormous and uh, I'm impressed with the progress they've made. The park is only three years old but already they're making substantial progress with really great new visitor facilities and we've talked to them about some really critical issues for both the parks in the UK and the parks in China. How you conserve and restore nature, how you connect up bits of ha habitat together for the pandas, how we tackle the global challenge for all of us of climate change. For me, my career is coming to an end for this chapter. I've had 30 years in the business actually. And uh, what's next for me? Well, I'm still staying active and still staying out in the national parks. So my mission from now is to take people like you out for a walk in the mountain and get the health benefits that come from being outside. It's so important that we don't lose our connection with the natural environment. We learn why it's special, we learn why we must conserve it. So a connection with these wild spaces is really great. That'll be a very rewarding experience. Go enjoy.